Let your toddler get messy with food. Let them have the full experience of smelling food, tasting food, feeling the texture on their hands and their face. Are you still feeding your toddler with a spoon? Or does your toddler refuse to touch food or feed himself? When your toddler won't feed himself, you are more likely to jump in and assist. But self-feeding is a developmental milestone for infants and toddlers. Very, very important that your toddler learns to feed and eat independently. So we are gonna talk today about how to help your toddler feed himself. I've got five tips for you, so make sure you stay to the end because the last one is the best one. In my many years of being a pediatric dietitian, I've watched a lot of children not be able or not be interested in feeding themselves. And this business starts in infancy. So today I'm going to take you through why it's important for your child, your toddler, to be feeding himself independently, how to get started with that, and it gets way back, we roll way back into infancy, and I'm gonna give you five tips for encouraging your toddler to feed himself. So let's get started. First up is when should your toddler start feeding himself? We're going to scroll back the time chart here and we're gonna go back to infancy because that is actually when children should start feeding themselves. At around six months of age, when you begin solid foods, your toddler should start to experiment with self feeding. So if you're spoon feeding, this might look like you're holding the spoon, but your toddler has his hands underneath yours and you're working together to make that spoon come into your toddler's mouth. So you're literally hand over your, taught your baby's um, hand, which is holding the spoon and guiding that hand to the mouth. This is so your infant learns that mouth, uh, spoon to mouth connection, the mechanics of that. If you're practicing baby led weaning, your infant will be holding foods that are about this length um, in their own hands in what we call a grasp such as like this. And what you can do is help your baby learn that once that food is in his hand, where it goes. So you can help guide your baby's hand to their mouth. They get the hang of it really fast. But again, remember, they're learning to eat. Uh, when they come out of the womb, they only know how to suck. So we have to help them learn uh, the mechanics of eating. And this starts right around six months of age when they start solid foods. Let's talk about the Palmer grasp and the pincer grasp. So the Palmer grasp is when your baby is taking the palm of his hand and he's raking it across the tray to, to collect food. So it, this happens around six months of age. Babies are able, able to do this. So it's taking the palm of their hand and you'll see they scrape food across their tray and then bring it to their mouth. Um, this is an important mechanical thing because it, it drives that connection between uh, palming food and bringing it to the mouth. It solidifies that, oh, I can actually get food off of my tray myself and get it into my mouth. At around nine months of age, uh, infants learn how to do the pincer grasp. So this is where they take their four, uh, their pointer finger and their thumb and they can pick up little pieces of food and bring it to their mouth. That's called the pincer grasp and it emerges around nine months of age. So young children, babies, need to learn the palmer grasp, how to get food into the mouth, the pincer grasp, how to pick up little chunks of food. Um, that is, uh, uh, some of the first initial steps of learning how to feed yourself. As your baby practices these mechanics, they get more confident with feeding themselves. And this is a very important point. If your baby is not confident in feeding themselves, they will be less likely to feed themselves. They will rely on you to put the spoon in the mouth 
and they won't be exploring food as uh, much as they should be. So encouraging your baby to get their hands on food is a very important first step to helping your toddler feed themselves. So how do you get your toddler to self-feed? We're gonna go through those five tips. And I just want to remind you though, you cannot make your toddler eat. And so do not get into the business of force feeding your toddler or um, spoon feeding your toddler. You need to allow your toddler, toddler some independence in this area. And that means for you as a parent or a caretaker, you need to be a little bit more hands off and let your toddler navigate um, food at meal times and at snack times. Number one tip, keep an eating schedule. Basically what this means for toddlers is you're going to have meals and snacks at regular intervals throughout the day. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, snack, maybe a cup of milk before bed. Six opportunities for your toddler to get nutrition. So generally what we say for toddlers is every two to three hours, there should be either a meal scheduled or a snack scheduled. And these are just opportunities for your toddler to eat. They are not half two times for eating. They are opportunities to introduce all the variety of foods you want to be introducing to your toddler and let them have the opportunity to feed themselves. Tip number two, give your toddler age appropriate foods. So most toddlers are going to be able to eat the table foods that you're eating. You might have to chop them up a little bit more or dice them a little more, but most toddlers are pretty good at, at eating, but we wanna make sure that we're not overwhelming them with things that are too hard for them to eat. So we're not going to give them a steak and a fork and a knife and expect them to cut that up. That's for the later years. So you're going to cut up meats and other protein sources. You might chop vegetables or dice them a little bit smaller so it's easier for your toddler to eat them. If you're serving like spaghetti, you might cut that up into shorter strips because a toddler may not be able to swirl spaghetti around a fork and get it into their mouth. So you're just going to be conscious of age and developmentally appropriate foods. Uh, and that really is around the size and safety of the foods and the ease of eating them. That will encourage your toddler to feed themselves. Tip number three, limit the time at the table. So toddlers have short attention spans. If we drag out meals and snacks, they become disinterested. Meal time, snack time can become a negative event in their day. We don't want that to happen. We want meals and snack times to be happy, joyful explorations of food and eating. So generally I recommend that toddlers have meals that last no longer than 20 minutes and snack time no longer than 10 minutes. The truth is most toddlers, when they come to the table um, every two to three hours, they have a bit of an appetite, they get down to business pretty quickly, and they get most of their eating done in the first half of the moments or time that they are sitting at the table. Now, this doesn't mean you cut the meal short at 20 minutes. If your toddler is still enjoying food and eating, you can let that go a little bit longer. But if your toddler looks like they're done after 15 minutes and they've been at the table and they've eaten a good amount and, and they're done eating, you can end the meal. Um, really look at what your toddler, uh, with the cues and the signals your toddler is giving to you. Tip number four, allow food exploration. Let your toddler get messy with food. Let them have the full experience of smelling food, tasting food, feeling the texture on their hands and their face. Uh, this is a sensory experience. And when we don't interfere by cleaning up their face or wiping their hands or cleaning up the tray, those are all interferences that can quickly make your toddler disinterested in eating. Um, so we don't wanna do that. We wanna let them have the full experience. Yes, it's messy, but it's just toddlerhood. It's a limited phase in your child's life. They will get neater as they get more practice and 
are able to do this more efficiently. And my fifth tip for you, and I sure hope you do this with your toddlers and even your babies, is to show your child how to eat. Now, how do you do that? Exaggerate your chewing. When you're eating off of a utensil, slowly show your toddler how you're pulling food off of a spoon with your mouth, showing how your lips close around the spoon and extract the food from the spoon. Same with a fork. Show your toddler how you stab food with a fork and bring it to your mouth and extract the food off of the fork. Exaggerating chewing, um, expressing enjoyment, mmm, when you're eating. All of this helps your toddler compute that eating is an enjoyable experience, this is how we do it, and you get to be the model for um, great uh, techniques and mechanics around eating for your child. These five tips certainly might not um, reverse a toddler who is sensory sensitive and refusing to eat uh, foods or engage with foods, but for children who are developing um, as we expect, these five tips will help your child feed themselves. Now, if you have a toddler who will not feed themselves and you've tried all these tips, I suggest you talk to your pediatrician, um, perhaps find a feeding therapist or specialist that can help you sort of navigate what might be going on uh, underneath all of that. Anyways, I hope this helped you. Be sure to check out my videos here on this channel. I have lots of advice for feeding toddlers and children of older ages. Before I go, tell me, is your toddler feeding himself? And if not, what is your biggest struggle? Leave that in the comments below. Um, and I will see you next time.